How do the various open source edge projects relate to the Etsy MEC standard reference architecture? Okay, thanks for joining us on Telecom TV. Yep, okay. Good, good to see you. Before we start, just tell me a little, a little bit more about your company, 99Cloud, and, and your, your experience in the telco sector and the open source community. Yeah, we have been in uh, OpenStack in for six years. We should be the uh, first uh, pure OpenStack player from China. And uh, uh, so we, we have in this area, uh, you know, for many years. And uh, in the past, we have some experience to support telcons. So um, uh, for the edge, it's kind of a domain that mix the cloud and with uh, uh, telecom technology like VNF. So that's why we are now doing something in this area. Why is the MEC reference architecture um, well, first of all, what is it, and, and why is it important that the open source community and their projects are aware of it and understand it? ETSI is a kind of a reference standard. Uh, you know, in the uh, telecom domain, there are some standards, which is like a uh, 3GPP is a kind of mandatory standard, but ETSI is a kind of reference, so we can uh, it's something is recommended, but it's not mandatory, and it's a kind of guide to telecoms to build a framework of uh, 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 edge computing. So far, we have some concept in edge computing, and we also know the scenarios in in different uh, 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 cases to enable edge computing to serve different purpose. But uh, um, to telecom, they need a platform to manage different uh, edge. Uh, sites or uh, maybe thousands of or hundreds of applications. So they need a unified or centralized uh, platform to manage those uh, uh, data centers, edge data centers, uh, edge infrastructure and uh, uh, applications. So uh, uh, the ETSI uh, Mac architecture uh, or reference architecture is uh, the only existing uh, architecture that we can reference to build a future edge system uh, for telecoms. Now, in your presentation here at the OpenStack Summit, you were looking at three open source edge yeah. projects, yeah. Acrano, Starling X, and yeah. an open cord. They're all different, but they're all important, I guess, to, to telcos. How, how, how do, what did you discover? How, how do they sit together? Do they complement each other? Are there overlaps? Are there discrepancies? Open source project is like, um, you know, it's community driven. You know, sometimes it has their own roadmap, sometimes, and uh, uh, they also some overlap because there are some uh, um, uh, existing individual uh, developer community and uh, with a different purpose. And Edge is kind of combined of different technologies. So uh, the, the three projects you mentioned, like Equino, Equino actually was uh, um, you know, launched from AT&T and uh, Starling X actually is uh, from uh, Intel and uh, Wind River. They opened their NFEI infrastructure to the uh, Open, OpenStack Foundation and uh, uh, Airship actually led by AT&T. This is, this is a tool to deploy 5G environment in their production. So those projects actually now is a part of Edge, but this is not all. Uh, you know, if we look in, in, into an entire uh, Edge platform, so they, are part, they, will, they can be the start point for Edge, uh, because uh, if we look into the ETI size standard, actually it includes three, three different life cycles. One is for Edge infrastructure, for the most we call Edge NFI, another is for the uh, um, application life cycle, and uh, the third one is for the VNF life cycle. So those three life cycle management is very important to Edge. Uh, we have a base um, project like, uh, like a starting X for the VNFI, like uh, Airship for Veeam, but we need to add more features to do the uh, application handling, to the integration, to enable multi-edge side deployment model. That's why uh, in a real telecoms, uh, they, they request more than you know, open source uh, project. So that's why we can start from uh, some open source project 
but we need to do, to, to do more to enable the real business. And you also called for um, the need for a real edge computing practice pilot. Um, wh wh why, do we, why do we need this? Yeah, pilot is a kind of a standalone trail to validate, a, you know, some like, a, um, like we do some manufacturing uh, pilot in, in Suzhou, which is a, a, a manufacturing center with a lot of factories. And the uh, pilot is to validate uh, the business model, like uh, we enable big data analysis, a AI analysis for those factories. And um, it's a standalone effort. So that we call it the pilot. But for telecoms, sometimes in the future, they are not manage one edge. They might manage thousands of edge uh, applications or edge site. So they need a unified platform to manage that complexity environment. So why we call it pilot because it's a, it's a to visit the business model, and uh, but the, in the future they need a, a, a overall managing platform to to you know manage different uh, um, edge uh, scenarios. Well, Kai, thanks for joining us today on Telecom TV. Much appreciated. Yeah, thank you.